Hi, I'm Audrey. I'm going to show you the easy way to make Lady Luck cookies. All you need to begin is a rolling pin, cookie sheet, a little bit of flour to dust your surface with, puff pastry, and most importantly, you need a good cookie form. I use Grandma Jones because they're the easiest to work with. Now, let's get started. Frozen puff pastries are the most convenient thing to use. They cut way back on your prep time, and you can get at least 120 cookies from each box. You need to remove them from the freezer at least two hours prior to your baking extravaganza. It's important to keep them chilled, so don't thaw them on the countertop. Keep them in the fridge. Next, you have to preheat your oven. 350 degrees works best. Back to the pastry. Remove one sheet. There are two sheets in each box. Cut one third of the pastry. Put the rest back in the fridge. Next, we're going to roll out the dough. Start by lightly dusting your work surface with a little bit of flour. Then you're going to roll the dough to 15 inches by 6 inches. That looks good. Now we're going to cut the dough into strips. We're aiming to get about 20 strips per section of dough. Next, we're going to wrap the dough around the pastry form. I'm using Grandma Jones cookie forms because their tapered non-stick design allows the cookies to slide right off after baking. Beginning at the larger end, wrap each section of dough towards the smaller end of the cookie form. This is the part that really allows for some experimentation. You can make the cookies as large or small as you want to. Once all your cookies are wrapped, we're ready to bake. We're going to bake them in our preheated oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Don't forget to keep an eye on them because after 12 minutes they'll start to brown. While they're in the oven, if you have an extra box of Grandma Jones cookie forms, you can get your next batch ready to bake. Just before your pastries start to brown, get them out of the oven. Once the cookies have cooled for a minute, you can slide them right off the pastry form. Now we're done baking and ready to fill them. For filling instructions, recipes, and more information, check out GrandmaJonesCookieForms.com.